This is Training Wheels. Practically perfect. You must be kind, you must be witty, goes an old Disney song as children recite a recipe for their perfect nanny. But when Mary Poppins arrived, maybe you found yourself resentful of her sugary tactics as she tackled every problem gracefully. Unlike her, most of us can't do chores with a or blow away on an umbrella after a season. Instead, those who aren't practically perfect in every way must rely on God's grace. So as we shape our children, how do we embrace God's favor and reflect it into our children's lives? So here's the big idea. The gospel of grace gives us a new lens through which we see ourselves, our kids, and our parenting. God gives us strength in our weaknesses, help in our struggles, and mercy when we fail. We don't earn his forgiveness, and we shouldn't require that from our children. We've all sinned and are justified by his grace as a gift, Romans 3, 23 to 24. And we forgive because of who we are, not because others have earned it. So there's no perfect parent award or parenting police. Christ commands whole life devotion to be perfect or complete as your heavenly father is perfect, Matthew 5, verse 44. But Jesus says that starts by seeing our need for grace before God. Don't miss how owning and admitting our mistakes eases the burden of perfection on our children. Make space for them to drop their guard and open up to you. Extend them the same graciousness God gives us. While losing our temper at our kids is wrong, choosing not to repair and apologize creates a bigger issue. Remember, God forgives those who forgive others. And forgiveness goes both ways. If we expect our kids to say sorry when they're wrong, are we willing to model that for them? When we admit our mistakes and ask for forgiveness, we show them our priority is repairing the relationship. So here's the big question. Do you need to rely more on God's grace in your parenting? So follow along with this guided study at BibleGeeks.fm slash trainingwheels. And may the Lord bless you and keep you today. Shalom.